647, did you see the clock turn? Did you see the clock turn? I did. Did you see? I did. Did you see? Not often do you get it right on the 000 mark. Right? What a day for you. I know. Whew. It's the little things, really. Sorry, I take the time to appreciate them. No, don't be. It's what great. a sunny disposition. I love it. Right? She's wearing the color of sunshine today. We got plenty of sunshine yep. in the forecast. All good. It's Friday. <laughs> yeah, it is Friday. It's going to be hot, though. What's that? It's summer. It's supposed to be hot. Yeah, but I moved what, away what from I moved oh, out. Oh, it's hot in August. No kidding. Well, I moved out of Mississippi. <laughs> like, I moved here. Yeah, no, it's going to be hot today. It's going to be great and nice and sunny, though, which is the good news. It's going to be pretty good overall. We do have some stuff coming for the weekend, but right now, high pressure in play is going to give us lots of sunshine today. It's going to be gorgeous out there in that regard. But this is not going to last the whole time. That moves out of the way, and we have some more mugginess coming, and with that, some rain coming, actually, in the form of showers tomorrow. We'll also see that continue here with rain chances as we go into Sunday and Monday as a cold front starts to move through the area. That's going to start to provide us with some storms before high pressure starts to make its way back through. And that's really going to start to make everything look pretty sweet as we get into the beginning of the work week and really the middle of it as well. Outside right now, it's not looking the best from the camera as you can see, but even with this couple clouds out there, some haze depending on where you are. But I mean, look at Standish right now. Pretty awesome start to your day. Lots of sun out there. It's going to be a great start to your morning and really through into your afternoon as well. It's going to be gorgeous. We have high temperatures that are going to be quite toasty though. And that's really the big thing I'm going to notice for your hot forecast. High temperatures right in the low 90s, feeling even warmer. So you just want to make sure all day long you stay cool in the afternoon and you want to stay hydrated as well because even though we have low 90s for your actual temperatures, your feels like temperatures are going to be in the mid 90s. So there's going to be a pretty good difference between the two here as we progress into the afternoon just because of how humid it's going to be. We're really going to stay with that really, really humid kind of forecast out there. Tomorrow, though, as you wake up, you're going to start to see some rain moving through with some pretty good downpours and some winds that are pretty gusty as well. That's going to start to move through the first half of your day in western Maine. And then as it continues to move through and move eastward with this trough, it's going to start to fall apart a bit more. It's going to lose some of that energy, lose some of the oomph that's coming along with that. And we're going to start to see it getting a bit more broken apart and a little bit lighter at times. But you're still going to have some of those downpours within here. And as we move through the day, you'll have that chance continuing but much less in the second part of your day there. Now as we move into your day on Sunday, the morning not looking like too much, but the afternoon some of those showers start to join in once again. Again, a little bit more scattered as we go into Sunday afternoon and evening, but you'll still have a couple downpour possibilities there, so you can't rule them out completely. This cold front starts to move through as we get into your day on Monday. Along with this, we'll have some storms the second half of your Monday, and we'll see this continuing to roll through. The good news is, is that after that rolls through those temperatures that are in the 90s and 80s for the next few days really starts to drop off. So if you don't like the heat, I like it at times, so just a little bit over it at the moment. We're going to start to see it cooling off quite a bit more, getting down to the 70s. So it's really actually cooling off quite a bit more. But the good news and the key for me personally is that the humidity is going to drop with that as well. Seas two to four feet out there for your day today. Winds out of the southwest at five to ten knots and the water temperature is 66 degrees as well. Here's your seven day forecast. Lots of sunshine out there for your day today and we will have some clouds building in a little bit later on. But the main thing is that it's going to be hazy, hot and humid for your day. High temps feeling like the mid to upper 90s as we head into your afternoon afternoon. We're going to have some showers around for your day tomorrow and we're going to see some showers in the second half of your day on Sunday as well. Storms on Monday. That's going to be the second half of your day once again. So Sunday and Monday you can see it waits until the afternoon to kind of pop up. But we'll also see more sunshine coming out Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. There's a front that starts to move through that's kind of staying off to our south the system, but it could inch up just a little bit farther. So that's why I kind of hedge my bets. It's probably yeah. going to look better than that, but you we'll never see. know. So yeah. We'll see. All right. Thank Take you, care. sir. Appreciate it.